baseball. The divisional favorites, according to DraftKings Sportsbook, the Braves, plus 115 in the East. Strong favorite in the Central, the Milwaukee Brewers, all that starting pitching. <laughs> but the heaviest favorite of them all in the NL West. <laughs> wow, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Well, DraftKings, they don't have the experts of Carlos, Dan, or Greg on their side, so you're going to learn something now. We're going to start with the NL East because that's where the world champions reside. Carlos, who will win the National League Eastern Division. That is a tough division. A lot of teams got better, the Mets, the Phillies, but I'm going to stick with the Braves, man. And you're going to say, what? They just lost Freddie Friedman. That was the face of the franchise. Well, guess what? Matt Olson is not a consolation prize. We cannot say that. This guy can absolutely mash. But look, the team is pretty much intact outside of Freeman. These guys are coming back on strong, defending. They do got the pitching. They have the offense. They got the defense. This team is uh, ready to repeat. I'm going Phillies. They limped to the wire last year. Joe Girardi back on top. They win the division. Kyle Schwarber, Bryce Harper, Nicholas Castellanos. Love the starting rotation. Zach Wheeler, Aaron Nola. Zach, pretty effing good, is going to be back. <laughs> rotation. So look out. Here come the Phillies. I'm with you on the Philadelphia Phillies, Dan. And for everything you just said, but don't overlook the young guys they've got. Bryson Stott. Is a young position player who's going to see the field in many different positions. Uh, yeah, they got Didi Gregorius, Real Muto, the guys you know. Mickey Moniak is playing his way onto this team in center field. He's going to be good this year. I'm believing in the young guys that will help the Phillies get over the hump. Their lineup is the best in the National League. I'm with you. They're going to win the NL East. To the NL Central, DraftKings says the heavy favorite. The Milwaukee Brewers. Carlos, do you agree with DraftKings? I do agree. Uh, the Brewers are going to take that division. Look, when you look at the rotation and you got that one, two, three punch, these three headed monster, it's uh, really impressive. Corbin Burns, Wardruff, even Peralta, these guys come out, you know, locked and loaded. But then you look at the offense as well, and they really uh, pan out well. Very good mix of hitters. You got power, but you also have hitters that move the ball around line to line. I expect him to be right there at the top. If Christian Yelich bounces back to be the player he was prior to 2019, the Brewers will be a double-digit winner in the Central. You heard it first. But I'm not sure we're going to see that That's a guy. big if. It's, it's a big if. But their starting pitching is just flat-out better than anybody in that division. Corbin Burns is terrific. He leads that division. Hater in the back end of the bullpen. This is a good team that if Yelich bounces back, they were a runaway winner. It's hard to just assume the Brewers will have the health they had last year in their starting rotation and their bullpen. I, I just, it's hard. If the Mets have taught us anything, is that pitching is a fickle thing. So I'm going with the most, the safest offensive bet in Correct. the division. The team that I think top to bottom has the best lineup, and that's the St. Louis Cardinals. To just assume the starting pitching will not have a health hiccup for the Brewers, I just think it's, it's immature. The Cardinals are loaded top to bottom, and Christian Yelich is the straw that stirs the drink for the Brewers. And I don't know if he's fixed yet mentally, so i got to go with the St. Louis Cardinals. They're going to score runs. Are there question marks in the rotation in the bullpen? Yeah, but I think this is the year with the short and spring training where the best lineup, you just pick the best lineup, and they're going to win the division. Now we'll see if that's the case in the NL West. <laughs> Again, the heaviest favorite of all the divisions, according to DraftKings, the Dodgers in the West. Are you taking the Dodgers? I'm going with the Dodgers. I tried to do everything I could to see if I could go somewhere else, and I couldn't, Dan. I mean, this team is stacked. You look at the fact that they added Freddie Freeman, gives them three former AV MVPs in the lineup, all right? And that's without Kershaw, who won an MVP as well, but as a pitcher. This team is unbelievably insane. You got Bueller, Urias, Kershaw, and yes, Dustin May may be added to that, you know, mix. If he's healthy, possibly around May, we'll see. This is just uh, very difficult not to put him on top. Yeah, uh, uh, Cody Bellinger, to me, is like Christian Yelich. Mm -hmm. If Bellinger bounces back and is the player that he was a couple of seasons ago, this thing is over before it starts. They're a long gone. They're the best team in the division. Mm -hmm. They have more parts, better pitchers, better everything. They're a complete team. They're a machine. If Bellinger bounces back, they're long gone. The horse is out of the barn. You think their starting pitching has so much depth that it's a surefire? They're thing. long gone. Really? Yes. Because if there's one GM that was kind of sharing the same thought process that I have in terms of starting pitching being a thicker thing is A.J. Preller with the San Diego Padres. To go get Sean Manaya when he already had a ton of starting pitching depth. You got Weathers and Paddock and McKenzie Gore all fighting for the last spot in the rotation. 
and then you go get a Sean Mania to go with Musgrove and Darvish and Snell. This team is so deep in starting pitching that I think the lineup will mash enough. I am going with the San Diego Padres. They have more starting pitching depth than the Los Angeles Dodgers. I, I will say this. The acquisition of Manaya is big because, to me, Snell and Darvish have been too inconsistent throughout their careers. At their best, they're great, but there's too much up and down. If they pitch well and Manaya does what he's supposed to do, the gap is significantly closes, but that's a big if. Okay. This is a division loaded with talent and young rookie phenoms. Um, as for the National League as a whole, give me that rookie impact that you think it impact the race. I I'm going to have to go with uh, Hunter Green. And, and just recent being, the way that the ball comes out of his hand is uh, impressive. Very easy 100 right here. It almost seems like it's effortless. Now, when you have that type of fastball and you pair it up, with nasty breaking stuff that hides off that fastball line. So, yes, strategy is going to be key for him. He's just a, a can't-miss type of talent. I'm going to go with the Cubs and Suzuki, and I know a lot of people at home are going, ah, is he really a rookie? He's been pro playing professionally over in Japan. He's not exactly Chris Bryant type of rookie, but he's a polished player, and he does fit the qualification. So, for me right now, he's the favorite. The Cubs and the Reds are not going to be in the mix for the postseason. I know we got the expanded postseason, but the guy that I think will impact the race is the left arm of Mackenzie Gore. For years, he's been the number one pitching prospect in the sport. This kid so far in the spring was electric, easily touching 99 miles an hour. They they kind of abbreviated his leg kick. It was over his chin for a while. They shortened that. They've smoothed out his mechanics. He might be in the bullpen to start the year, work his way into the rotation. Mackenzie Gore, remember the name. He is going to impact the race in the National League. One thing I do like, when you stay with teams, you stay with them. You have not jumped off the Padres' ship. As Vic continues even to sink a little bit, you're pulling yourself back up. With that said, let's talk about Albert Poole. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we've got some individual futures bets. Yes, Steve Buchanan of DraftKings is going to answer this question. Will the King reach 700 home runs this year? That's next.